So always an exciting time when Ping release a new product. And this time we've got the i525. So this is replacing the i500. And first impressions looking and they look so much better. So really excited to hit this. I've got a five, a seven and an i9. We're gonna hit all three. We've got Trapman provided with some numbers of the performance of this new iron. Okay, so i525, as I say, replacement to i500 and looks tons better on first impressions. So player's distance, that's what Ping are saying this iron is all about. It is creating high ball speeds, as we'd expect, but in that player's maybe packaged look and sometimes the the, the feels that maybe that better player or that lower handicap player is really sort of looking for. I think this will probably suit a wide variety of golfers. It's hollow construction, it's tons of forgiveness. There's tungsten in there, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. So providing lots of forgiveness, yet kind of create that sort of ball speed. So this, I think, throws a net over a large of uh, uh, different types of golfers in a way, you know, probably that mid handicap all the way down to that, even that scratch golfer. So as I say, I've got a nine nine seven nine five. I'm gonna hit some with all, mainly focus on that seven nine, but we'll show you the numbers on them all. So I've got the nine nine start off with and you know in this short time what I'm sort of looking for is a nice sort of blade length I don't want to see loads of offset and I'm not seeing that so I put that down and there's virtually zero offset there if anything that lean edge is just sat, sat slightly forward that lee of that hosel which is um, something I wasn't going to expect maybe from this it's a sleek head it's it looks to be a thinnish top line it's not mega thin but in that plane position bear in mind this is nine it's obviously bent back a little bit more with the loft it, it's quite disguised that top head, so it doesn't look too chunky at all. Uh, white groove on that uh, bottom groove, which I think it, the ping have always done, and it creates that little bit of that alignment aid I quite like. Okay, nice shot to start off with. So, distinctive sound, as we tend to sort of see with a ping iron, you know, and don't be fooled here, you know, it says the word forged on the back of the club head, okay? It's not fully forged. We have a forged Marage in steel club face. The rest of the body of the head is a 17.4 stainless steel. So for me, and with it being uh, hollow, you're not gonna get that forged feel. You might associate with that pure single bodied forged iron, uh, maybe from other brands, forged face, okay? So the Q sticks are not soft, dull it's a, it's a little bit of a click to it but what i am going to say is that it's so much better sound than the i500 i wasn't a massive fan of the i500 the looks of it didn't tick a box for me um it was very very hot it was very very loud i thought and and it just didn't i just didn't really like it this definitely sounds better it looks so much better in the shaping of the head you know, it feels very solid. You know, that flight is sort of nice and high. This is a 9-9. It's lofting in at 40 degrees of loft for a 9-9. So obviously these lofts are going to be on a slightly stronger side. You know, at the end of the day, it's a distance iron as well as trying to hit a sort of nice package and a look. So it's trying to tick both boxes here. So you're always going to see those lofts be a little bit stronger. But obviously they're not ridiculously strong. You can maybe just see that spin number there. It's around that 6,000 mark. A little bit of cut on that, a little bit peely to the right. We'll see a little bit of a higher spin with that now. That's just through my, a little bit of my delivery. There we go, sort of nearly 8,000, uh, 8, just eased off that. A little bit weaker shot, that's obviously more me than the club itself, dropping off a little bit of distance. Okay, that's better. Nice, smooth one. Good feel. Very consistent on that launch and that window that ball comes out of, as you expect with a sort of 9-9. Nine -nine. And that's pretty, probably a very typical number for me. Okay, so switching into the 7i now. So this is lofting in at 30.5 degrees of loft. So very much a competitor now to say, for instance, the TaylorMade P790, obviously a massive iron for TaylorMade. Same sort of loft profile, obviously got that um, hollow design in the head. Now, internally in the i525, we've got some tungsten happening. Obviously, we can see that tungsten screw in the toe section, but we've also got some tungsten in the bottom of the shaft uh, as it obviously goes in, so bottom of that hosel. So extreme perimeter weighting is what Ping are sort of saying here, which is obviously going to spread it, increases that MOI, that f sort of forgiveness level, and those miss hits, stability and everything like that, but keeping that real high ball speed off this club face, you know, with that sort of hollow head, a little bit of that spring effect off the club. Now, 7-iron, sitting down by the golf ball. i tell you what, this is a really good look for, uh, again, it's, we know it's a player's iron, it's not gonna be the smallest head out there. You look at the blueprints from Ping, absolutely minute. In, it's virgin on the point of being absolutely too scary. But again, offset, there's, there's very little, if anything at all, really, to be honest there. That's a really nice sort of front profile of the head. 
lovely shape on there a decent sized blade length uh, it just looks very very tidy good looking iron medium top edge Ooh, i was just going to test a little bit of that forgiveness in that bottom of the golf club a little bit clean wasn't the most perfect strikes but a decent sort of return from that low hit. So to help with that sound ping, I've put like an, an EVA polymer insert into the head and that's slightly positioned in different locations per the iron that we sort of see. And that's gonna really sort of help a lot with the sound and the feel and just dampening those sort of sound waves in around that sort of hollow head. That's a nice shot. That's a lovely shot, lovely ball flight. Better ball speed there through that little bit of a better connection. Okay, see 186, that was a good distance. Now, obviously that spin a little bit on that low side, okay? And we're probably gonna see a little bit of that lower spin characteristics because of that loft at 30 and a half degrees. Having said that, we look at the height of that ball flight, 110 feet, loads of height and coming in at a really good land angle, just shot that 49 degrees. So we know we've got an element of that stopping power when that ball comes in. It's not like it's coming in really, really flat, is it? Again, nice ball flight. Feels really good. I'm really enjoying hitting that. I think the look of it is, as I mentioned before, is so much better than what we've seen in the i500, for instance. So as always, we see with the ping now, we've got that Hydropill 2.0 finish. So that's water repelling, trying to reduce any chance of sort of flyers when obviously balls damp or dampness between uh, club face and golf ball when you're out in those playing conditions got four extra grooves on the club face so really helping to control spin in those short irons and really sort of retain some spin in those longer irons as we obviously lose a little bit of that loft oh, it's lovely really a nice ball flight Good feel, you know, we're getting the responsiveness off that club face. It doesn't look like it's absolutely flying out there. Sometimes with those small power irons, we just see it just go out and you think, oh my God, is that just not gonna stop when it lands? Again, I'm really confident. Yes, the spin number is not huge, but it's not gonna be with that loft but we've got that luxury, that land angle, as we mentioned before. So I'm confident we've got some stopping power with these irons. So I think it's a forgiving iron. You know, you've got that help with that tungsten. It's the great look where a lot of the maybe lower handicap golfers might want to sort of see, they don't want to see loads of offset, especially if you've got a left miss happening. Don't want to see too much of that thick, chunky top line. So it is, as I mentioned with a lot of these videos, it does, this type of iron does tick a lot of boxes for a lot of golfers. just a touch touch heavy it's flowing all right to be honest but a touch heavy that might just pull that spin down a little bit lower there uh, when that comes up oh no it hasn't actually so that's pretty good actually so five two on that spin 183 okay let's move into the five iron okay so five iron 24 degrees of loft this time and also ping are offering the retro loft and the power spec so power spec being a couple of degrees stronger in the loss for anybody who's maybe wanting some extra ball speed who maybe hits quite high ball wants to control that height a little bit more through a less loft there's an option for you and then the retro spec is a is typically around sort of one and a half to two degrees more loft than the standard so again anybody who maybe hits a little bit low or wants to increase a little bit of spin so there is options there you don't have to obviously stick with the standard loss that we see on these irons so five iron we just see a little bit of offset here now just creeping as you sort of expect in these sort of longer irons but again really nice sort of shaping of the head down by that golf ball decent sort of blade length so it doesn't look too uh, small down there okay that wasn't flushed but it wasn't bad at all and flown quite nicely so that's been on me see you know around that 4,000 mark with the five irons pretty good for a long iron again of this type of loft oh again that's a little bit heel that time flown really straight maybe that bit of tungsten there just helping me out that probably won't be as long there that was a little bit of a poorer strike on my behalf yeah 196 dropping off a little bit there still looking for that perfect time to sort out all my strike issues uh, i don't think i'm ever going to find one but just the way of the world we've still got to pull that trigger haven't we? we've still got to make that golf swing we've still got to get a fairly consistent consistent sort of connection on the golf ball Okay, that's quite a nice high sort of ball flight for a five aim, but again, fairly sort of decent number. So I think, you know, I-525, what the type of player this is going to hit, 
as I mentioned, maybe that mid to low handicap golfers, probably that golf who may be currently playing G425 or G410 from the older models, G400, looking to maybe progress into an iron that they still want the forgiveness, maybe a little bit of that power in there, but maybe that need to look a bit more feedback, a bit of a need to compact package. This is definitely an iron to sort of look at. Okay, so let's look at those numbers. Nine iron, seven iron, obviously five iron on the top. So we can see, let's just look at some spin numbers start with. So 6,700 with the nine iron. 5267 and 4000 around that sort of 5 iron. So we know the spin's going to be a little bit on that lower side because of the loss, but I meant, as I mentioned the launches are good, the descent angles are pretty good, uh, land angles are pretty good coming in. So we know we've got that stopping power there, don't we, with those um land angles. Now, when we look at the sort of gap in there it was pretty good, you know, 145 up to 180, obviously <laughs> couple of miss hits that was a little leaky one so if you just take that one out for instance typically around that sort of 150 mark with a nine iron we then look at the seven iron at 182 on average again i'll take the weakest one out 183 so we are sort of 20 sorry 33 yards there so roughly 50 working 50 yards gap in is probably about right isn't it we're looking for then five into that five iron again take that weak one out i didn't quite get miss strike you know typically two good strikes there 210 you know, we've got that another sort of um, touching sort of 30 yards, haven't we? So consistent gap in between those um, three irons there. Bear in mind, we've obviously got an eight iron and a six iron to throw in the middle of those. Um, but yeah, decent performance. Okay, so for me, another solid iron from Ping doing exactly what they do. Very discreetly, I always think, with a brand from Ping. You know, they go about the business. They do some really good product launches. They're not shoving it down your faces on launch. Um, and, you know, there's a very, very loyal following with the Ping product. So post comments down below, let me your thoughts. I525. Hopefully, we'll catch you all very soon.